So we're looking at addition and subtraction here. So with these two questions, let's decide to do some addition. So three digits in each. So the first one, we have a look. 5 plus 7, well that equals 12. So what we do is we put down the 2 and we actually carry the 1 up here so you can see the number 12 has been written. Then 6 plus 1, well that equals 7. 7 plus 6 equals 13. Put the 3 down, carry the 1. Now we have 7 and 1 equals 8. 8 plus 3, which is 11. So we write down 11 here and you can see our answer is 1132. Have a look over here. Again, pretty straightforward. 8 plus 9 equals 17. So we put down the 7 and then we carry the 1. And then over here again, 7 plus 7, well that's 14. And then I can just add the 1, it's going to give me 15. So I put down the 5, carry the 1. So now we have 9 plus 1, which equals 10. And then 10 plus 4, which equals 14. So moving on. Let's now look at subtraction. So if we were to subtract these numbers uh, from each other. So what we're really focusing on here is um, borrow, borrowing in subtraction. So the whole idea that we have to borrow, because if you notice here, in the first, in the first algorithm, it's 5 take away 7. So you need to be careful because 5 is obviously smaller than 7. So if you have 5 lollies, I can't really take away 7 from you. So it's important that what we do is, let's rub that out, what's important is that we then decide to borrow from next door. So by borrowing, that means we are taking away 1, so that becomes a 5. Now this becomes 15. So 15 take away 7, well, hopefully we all know that is actually Eight. But now we're left with, again, the problem that 5, uh, 5 is smaller than the 6 that we're supposed to be taking away from it. So again, it's important that we borrow from next door. Cross it out, that becomes a 6. I'll just circle that. Now we have 5, oh sorry, and obviously we need to, we can't forget to put our 1 back over there, so that makes it 15. So 15 take away 6, and we know that is 9. So now we're left with just 6 take away 3, which equals 3. So the answer is 398. Again, over here it's important that we borrow because 8 is um, certainly less than 9. So if we're thinking about it, we need to make sure that we borrow from the guy next door. And that's going to be a 6 that we turn it into. Put a circle around that so we don't forget it like I did almost last time. And now we're left with 18. So 18 take away 9. Well, I know that 9 plus 9 equals 18. So if I'm taking away 9 from 18, I'm left with 9. And now again, we have that similar problem. So we're thinking, well, 6 take away 7. Well, if I have 6 dollars, I can't take away 7 dollars. So what I need to do is again, borrow from the 9, the hundreds column. And that becomes an 8. I need to make sure I put that 1 over there. So now I have 16 take away 7. And we should know that is 9. And then we have 8 take away 4, which equals 4. So, again, when you're thinking with, about your subtraction and you're doing your algorithms, be careful and make sure that you check if you need to borrow. Don't just decide to do that mistake um, that many people do and just decide to go, well, how about I just go 7, take away 5, because that won't work.